Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a question about subprograms. Okay, so in a subprogram, there are two versions we can have a procedure or we can have a function. A function returns something, a procedure doesn't. So let's have a look through the code inside this subprogram to see if it returns anything. So there's no, so if we work our way down the code, all the way down there, there is nothing that says return. So therefore, this is a procedure. So what I do is I go to my help sheet, which I'll get from the exam, and I find how to start a procedure. Well, you start a procedure with this command. You use procedure, then you use an ID to tell you what the name is, and then you give it something, or you can give it something called parameter. A parameter is something that you are going to pass into the code. Okay, so if I am setting or doing any work that involves um, using a function, setting something to a value, I have to have got that value from somewhere. And where I've got that value from is in the code. So let's have a quick look at this line. It says set profit to in profit times in prod. Well, these two variables must have been defined somewhere. And the way we do, we've do, we done that is we've taken it here in the code. So these are the things that you're going to put from here into here to make the code actually work. So I'll define that. So if I look at my thing, I've got procedure. So let's start by putting that in. Procedure. Then I've got an ID, which is what this thing is there. So there's the ID. And now I need my parameters. So I'm a, what I'm going to do is put the parameters in in order that you see them in the, in the actual code. So the first one is in profit. Okay. And as you can see from the information, we, we, cut, we put a comma in between them. So the next one is in prod. And the final one I haven't found yet. So let's carry on going through. Ah, set tax to in tax. There's nothing else in any of these variables here or any of this code that is another thing. So that must be the last one in tax. So what that's now done is it's actually given me it saying this is a procedure that's going to be called this. It's going to be called this. And you're going to have those things being given to me when you call it. So we now go to the next line. Well, the next line is saying begin. So this is saying this is the beginning of the procedure I want you to look at. So the word you want there is procedure. Okay. This is the procedure. This is the end in the procedure. So let's put the procedure in there too. And now the only line we've got left is the bottom line. Well, the bottom line is asking you to, to do something with the code. It's asking you to actually call the procedure. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to say the name of the procedure and then the things you're going to put into it. Okay. So we're going to have uh, cow profit and tax and the things we're going to put into it aren't these in things because they are what they're going to be called inside the program we need to figure out what they've asked for outside of the program so they've asked for um, they've asked for here they've asked for the cost the required profit and the tax rate, but we've got to make a match. So I always said in profit first. So what we're going to have is rec profit, comma. The next one needs to be the production. So cost prod, comma. And the last one is the tax rate, which is going to be called rate tax. Okay. So now when that code works here so when you run this piece of code it will run this particular sub program so what you've then done is you made it so that you can look at and check different types of code and you can run this over and over again just doing that two or three times no matter how many you want to do